Before using Xplotter software, please install USB drivers first and plug in data cable, then power on Xplotter. On Windows system, other softwares are no install programs in folders. You just need to double click to run the program. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate how to use Xplorer softwares on Mac. The first one is GUI. Double click to open the software. It will detect Xplorer device first. If the device is not detected, please make sure the device is power on and the USB driver has been successfully installed. If all goes well, this UI come out. On the left side are control panel. Drag the slider. You can control X, Y, and Z motions. You can also click on the right side in the valid motion range to control X and Y motions together. The fourth slider is for speed control. Let's increase its value. The motion become faster. We have three in effect options here. The pen option do not need more details. You can control everything through the sliders above. For vacuum option, you can set vacuum status and use record settings. Record pose, delete pose, save poses and load poses. Play poses once or repeat again and again. Let's add a wood block to demonstrate this record function. First, move the vacuum cup gripper right above the block. Add one pause. Then pull down the gripper. Add another pause. And turn on vacuum power. Add one more pause. Put up gripper. Add one pause. Move to another coordinate and add more pauses to pull down the block. After recording, let's play the record. It will play one time. If you select repeat option, the record will play in a loop. After clicking save button, this record has been saved in the same directory of GUI software. Click minus button to clear all the pauses. Then click load button. Select the previous record file. The pauses come back. Use record function. You can achieve many different tasks. Change vacuum cup gripper to leather. Don't forget add a wood board to protect desk surface. Power on again in the GUI UI. Let's select leather option. Check foxing. Laser turn off and a relative low brightness. Wear your goggles and turn the laser lens to make the light spot as small as possible. Then set brightness and set speed to 500, which is good for cutting. Move the laser. An engraving light come out on the board. You can change speed and brightness value for more test. This GUI software makes you more familiar to exploit basic settings and give you a glimpse of programming functions, which we will discuss later. The second software is Exploiter Painter. In the control panel, the first section is Choose Image Let's select an image. In the image processing section, the default method is counter detection. Let's press process button. The counters of this Nautilus gear have been detected. This image processing method is useful for laser cutting. Let's select another image. In the image processing section, Choose Scan Method, then Process it. After a while, a scan image come out. This method is used for some kind of engraving, 
such as printmaking. Now, choose a photo from test images. Select Sketch in Image Processing Method. Then a sketch painting appears, and the complexity information is displayed at the upper left corner. For this method, you can adjust the two parameters. The first one is integrity degree. Higher value will produce more completeness. The second one is resolution. Small value will produce higher resolution, which is more realistic style. Large value will generate abstract genre. After introduce these three image processing method, let's move on to the third section of control panel. Click Layout button to make a layout for your works. You can drag the slider to resize this painting. The size value above slider means the width. I must emphasize that this image has been extended to export a rectangle valid range ratio. If you want to make exact size painting or engraving, your reading image should have a wider aspect ratio than this rectangle. You can drag the painting to adjust the position. That's fine, let's try painting. First, add a piece of drawing paper and install pen on the pen holder. Adjust the brush height to let the pen point press a little bit on the paper. Then, reside the pen height, click Pen button. Exporter begin to paint. In the painting process, you can press keyboard to cancel current work. One thing I should mention here is that the machine will not stop painting or engraving immediately. It will finish current stroke or counter first. Please pay attention to this. When you use laser, you just need to adjust the speed and the cut time. For cutting, 200 to 500 speed is suitable, and higher speed for engraving. In my experience, cutting 3mm plywood you need to set 5 to 8 cut times in general conditions. It all depends on material type and humidity. But first of all, you need to properly adjust the laser focusing. It is the most important factor affecting the effect. For more details, please watch our laser focusing adjustment video. Thank you very much.